Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Another Foot Champs kind of recap. Not a weekly highlight sort of thing, but more of a this is the craziest game or this is the best game uh, that we played this weekend. Never played this guy before. He has a pretty good team. Uh, apparently, I think at the time he was 17-0. 15-0 or 17-0? I think he was 17-0. and um, And we were 15-0 or 17-0. So it was an undefeated uh matchup we were combined as records over 30 and 0 um i think i'm pretty sure this guy's verified and uh his team was good i was uh i was playing pretty well at the time so i wanted to commentate over it i think a lot of you guys like the post comms a lot um and i what i did like about this guy was that he didn't play drop back or anything he just was a very patient player um and I'll be honest with you guys, this game, uh, in the beginning, I thought I was losing, man. And this weekend, I thought I was getting a 30-0. and So when I did lose at 22-0, it was painful. Um, but yeah, so this guy hits me on the kickoff uh, right away, Richarlison. He drag backs to the angle um, and hits up the kickoff. That is pretty much a textbook FIFA 20 goal. You get the player on the transition run, um, and you either do a shot fake, a scoop, or a drag back. And try to get the shot creation angle. So I was very tired because my goal, at least Sunday, which I did do really well yesterday. Um, but my goal of the weekend was to not concede in the first 10 minutes. That is like my biggest weakness as a FIFA player. And yet again, I find myself already down in a game 1-0 because of my lack of focus uh, in the first, first 10 minutes. So probably not the best pass there from Coutinho. I put some extra pressure on after we win the ball back with Eusebio. I'm trying to kind of feel out this guy. A lot of time, the first couple minutes of the game, for me at least, is always trying to see what my opponent is good and what he isn't good at. Um, right away, I couldn't really identify anything that he was not great at. Um, a really good play there from Promise finds Eusebio, and then obviously Matt Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen's the best keeper in the game. It's not even close. Um, he's the best keeper in the game. Uh, I have him in my team now, and almost every opponent has him. This moment's Butcher Granio was super annoying. Um, card is really good because you're able to shoot on both feet. He's got a low center of gravity, so he's really good at the quick little turns. Just overall, a nightmare to kind of play against. That card is not a fun card to play in foot champions. I'll tell you guys that much. It's not a fun card to play in foot champs. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but anyways, win the ball back with Coutinho. Um, Hullet is the difference maker, although he makes an insane manual read there. Um, so, Davies is a very good player. You could see that my opponent had Davies. Nice little string of passes here, guys. Um, I wanted to play that to Ronaldo. It ends up playing it to Coutinho. Uh, probably should have taken another touch there to get a better pass. Hull it with an interesting touch. Hull it with not the best touches in the early on in this game. But this is what FIFA should be about, man. This is end-to-end -end FIFA. Um, neither of us are dropping back, and we both have pretty good records. Um, not to say that some of, like we're not playing patient or waiting for our chances, but nobody's playing drop-back football in this game, man. And this is why I wish that everybody would play like this because not everybody does. Um, it's, it's very frustrating that most people don't play like this. Um, but yeah, so Insigne was a very annoying card to defend as well. I'm just talking to you guys about players that were good for him. Insigne was very good. Um, he's very patient here. You guys can see with Butchagueno. Dude, that is just, uh, that is a good goal, man. There's nothing I could really do there. And now I'm down 2-0 in the 20th minute and I'm like, yo, what the hell is good? I don't think I was down maybe two goals all weekend. So th this guy was this guy had me on strings, man. This guy played better than me for the first 35 minutes of the game, no doubt in my mind, bro. He killed me, man, in the beginning of this game. Um, I was getting absolutely rinsed, man. And so at this point, I was kind of like, "Yo, you know, like what is good? What is going on?" Um, he takes the ball right off kickoff as well, and he's just kind of asserting his dominance at this point. I mean, this dude is like pretty much all over me, man. Um, <laughs> So not really, not really a fun feeling, um, and especially when you haven't lost a weekend, this is kind of when you get in your head and you're like, yo, am I playing like crap or is this guy just really outplaying me? Um, but anyways, we couldn't lose focus. Um, this could have been like a game-changing moment. I would always give somebody a cross header, always, but if that had gone in and the fact that it could have been 3-0 at the 25th minute, that could have been a really concerning thing to happen. Um, that could have been a very bad spot in the game. Um, we are going to build out here with our center backs. And we are going to make sure that we are able to create at least a shot out of this possession. Um, because I know at the moment, 
my goal right now as a FIFA player is to get a goal before halftime. Um, it's so big to get that goal. Coutinho's doing the magic. Um, back heel pass killed me there. That is, is sometimes just a thing with FIFA 20. The back heel passes are, are literally so annoying. Right there, he did have the shoulder on me, but Carvajal I saw was close enough, so I started spamming the pass button. Usually the defender um, can get to that command. Controlling the midfield here with Hullet. I see the pass into Eusebio. We played to Promise. Um, Promise at this point was... <sighs> Promise was so bad, man. I, I, I don't know how to explain. I'd rather use Golden Belly, but I kept him in too many minutes too long. And this was the time in the weekend where I had started to realize that he's not playing more than 20 minutes to start. I had to take him off and put in Mars, but he was just clumsy, man. He, he was really making me mad. Some good pressure here. We force him to play back to his keeper. And yes, he switches the play, and so he is wide open there. But to make him play back to the keeper, I could see that this guy was definitely feeling my pressure. So I, I had team press on at the moment. And I was like, you know what? Let's keep the team press on because I felt like he couldn't really defend the team press. A um, little bit lucky there. Good defending there from his Allen. But we're going to go forward here. I see that we have numbers. We basically have like a 3v4 here. Um, so I'm just dribbling with Coutinho. I'm taking my time. Coutinho is a phenomenal player in this game, man. Um, the way you can dribble with him, the passing that he offers. Didn't like what I had there, so I went back. We play it downwards to Eusebio. I try to ball roll Nutmeg Ramos because I know if I can get that off, that's a 100% situation where then I have a 2v1 against the keeper and at a center back, so 2v2, but it's a favorable outcome. So right now, you guys are seeing me put in De Bruyne because I want more attack in my midfield. I feel like Allen is good, but I don't want to like I don't want him to kill us, man. I feel like Allen is restricting us from going forward a bit, and I feel like if I have KDB and Hullet, both in my midfield, that I'll be able to control the game a little bit more in terms of the attack. I feel like the attack was something that I really wanted to add. Mars is coming in. Mars was coming in all weekend for promise. Mars was doing really well uh, off the bench, so Mars was definitely a delight, uh, a, a delightful player to add into the to add in um, and to get going. So Mars was coming in. That was our other change that we'd made, um, and uh, so we get a corner kick here. I always go short on corners. Um, they just dumping it in the box is not efficient enough um i see that he's not guarding the the top player um and we start doing what mars is really good at some circle dribbling uh and a drag back around the ai the finesse shot mars has the finesse shot trait and we use just that you guys can see the ball the, the way the ball whips into the net mars with an absolutely insane finish there to to bring us within one super important goal guys we had to get that goal before halftime um it was super important man you, you, you do not want to be down two goals or three goals to somebody who is good at Good at winning and good at controlling games heading into the second half. Um, especially when you're riding an unbeaten streak. You want to keep that going. So super important, super important that we did that. Um, yeah, for some reason as well, though, this weekend, like, De Bruyne off the bench was phenomenal, man. I got to, like, him off the bench 30 minutes in is just unbelievable, man. Um, so that was really good. Some great manual defending there with Ramos. Um, we get the outlet pass here. You're looking to have De Bruyne control the midfield. I, I kind of panicked there. He put some really good pressure on me. I did panic low-key, but I did win the ball back with Boateng. And now it's the 44th minute, so I'm starting to see that we have the 45th minute. And if you don't know anything about FIFA, the 45th minute means you have a 40 to 50% chance uh, to score in that minute. So I was pushing so hard. I was like, yo, we got to get to score here. Um, doing some nice dribbling with Ronaldo. I see the transition run from Eusebio, and I use the shot fake boost to get the little bit extra speed that I need to get the pop shot off. And Eusebio... Ties it to us, ties it for us, guys, in the 45th minute. Um, it is an AIDS minute to score in. I am aware of that. I know it's annoying, but look, guys, it is what it is, man, right? You you got to – am I abusing a mechanic? Yes, because it's the 45th minute, but we're trying to get our way back into the game. And that was the really the way that I saw fit uh, in the best way possible for us to get back into this game, man. I, I saw the 45th minute, and I said, let's go attack, man. That's what I always do. I always attack in that minute. Um, a lot of FIFA players, you guys will see, will play that minute carefully as well, though, because as they do see the 45th minute, um, a lot of the time they will kind of like hold the ball a bit and make sure that they can't get countered. Because obviously if you lose the ball in the 45th minute and somebody starts attacking against you, uh, it's horrible, man. You, you, you might get countered and scored on the 45th minute is just overall the easiest way I think to score in this game, man. I think it's easier than the 90th minute, man. The 45th minute is just... Oh, it's just uh, it's just brutal. So we're heading into the second half now. Um, that is where we are at, and we're tied, man. So we're at level, and, and obviously FIFA. I think FIFA has momentum coded in it, but in terms of like player versus player, I feel like I had the momentum. Um, I had finally figured out that my opponent was not that good against pressure, 
So I was like, okay, let's keep the pressure going. I get a shot fake with Ronaldo here. Uh, shot fake and then stop into Croqueta. And yes, it is a kickoff, but we absolutely destroy his defense. Uh, and we go up 3-2. So we were down two goals. And now we're up 3-2. to So it was an amazing, amazing uh, focus and composure for us against the great defense uh, and a good player, a solid player. Obviously, his defense. By the way, just talking about AI and stuff, his defense is really good, right? Ramos, Boateng, like these types of players are really, really good. So to do all this against those types of players, in my books, is a W. And you guys can see, I'm still keeping the pressure, man. We want to keep the pressure here. But at this point, what I know that I need to get done is score one more goal. I know that if I get another goal and that's four straight, that my opponent's going to be freaking, he's going to be losing his mind. So I knew that I had to push for one more goal. It's too early to kind of sit here and say, okay, we're going to win 3-2. I always try to get another goal unless there's literally five minutes of FIFA left in the game. If it's the 85th minute, I don't need another goal. But yeah, so we're going for it here. Um, and uh, we play through ball down the line, guys. That is uh, that is the plan here. Play an inside pass there to Ronaldo. Use his weak foot because his weak foot is broken. We get the scoop turn to get the shot angle. And now it is four to two. And can you believe it, guys? Two verified players scoring six goals in 60 minutes of FIFA. It's it's something that this game was a lot of fun, man. I mean, I, even if I even if I had lost this game, there was no way I wasn't going to score. And I think the game was super fun to play because there was just kind of like common trend of. Um, there was just kind of trend of like nobody was really parking the buzz in this game, which was just super refreshing to have, man. I mean, when you have that amongst two FIFA players, it's definitely uh, it's definitely super refreshing, man. But great manually defending here from Ramos. We track back just in time. Uh, this guy's definitely putting the pressure on me. I go, I actually go back to the keeper um, and I play a wide pass all the way to Mars, who actually goes ahead and wins it. Uh, Coutinho there. Ramos almost wins it over Ronaldo, but we do end up winning it right here. I'm just being uh, being safe. I take a great first touch there with with De Bruyne. And just kind of playing passes that I know are open. I'm not doing anything too crazy. Um, Mars on the ball here. Pass it into Ronaldo. Uh, heel to heel. Ball roll inside the fake that we were going to shoot. And we take a one back outside. At this point, we're up 5-2. And you guys can tell, Ronaldo from my play style is a cheat code, man. The way I play FIFA right now, to have Ronaldo in my team. And I think for anybody, he's a cheat code. But the way that I'm starting to really master some skills in the final third. And master the idea of having a one striker that you play into and you play off of. Um, was great for me and you guys could see something that I was doing in game uh, as well as I was moving Coutinho to cam Coutinho was really good at right attacking mid But what I noticed is that when I got to the cam role Coutinho was better than Eusebio at cam uh, Which was just something that was definitely interesting uh, Something that was definitely interesting from for me man just to kind of realize like that Coutinho was that guy Coutinho was almost on the level of Neymar in this game if Coutinho had a five-star weak foot which his weak foot is four But it does feel like four and a half um that Coutinho would have just been like a, a nasty player. So if you guys were on the fence about Coutinho, I think I talked about him last weekend. Go ahead and get the SPC. He's a very good card. Um, this is two weekends in a row of me now using him, but he's been he's been doing so much for my club. Um, he's been really, really good for me. So great defending there off the kickoff. Uh, Boateng wins the ball. Eusebio wide. Coutinho with a great entry pass there. Going to fake like I'm tripping, like I'm going out. Then I faked again that I was going back to Coutinho. And I was trying to play that wide pass to Davies. Um, Hullet here trying to get Davies involved. We're pushing Davies down the sideline. Um, pass inside. That is offside, I believe. Yeah, it's offside. I try to play to Mars there, but you guys know it. Sometimes the passing in this game, like they they just register the complete wrong spot. So we weren't obviously trying to pass it into there. Um, we manually intercept the ball there. Coutinho dealing with the pressure very well. Hullet making that forward run. Um, Hullet is the freaking daddy of this game. You guys can see retaining possession. La Croqueta after the shot stop to get the space. Taking our time with Coutinho here. Uh, we see Ronaldo's open. Scoop turn. Uh, ball roll. Pass into KDB. And probably should have shot that first time there. I think De Bruyne is capable of scoring that angle. But you guys can see, man. We just took over this game, bro. Like, it, it really is good that I, I'm getting a lot better at keeping my composure when I'm losing. Um, I was down two goals, which is a lot, man. Two goals is a lot in a FIFA game. You guys know a lot of games this year are only 1-0, 2-1. Um, so to keep the composure... Was really good. Great defending there with Boateng. Um, play the inside pass there. I, I keep, sometimes I try to do the scoop turn after the shot fake, and it just does the, or after the uh, ball receiving. And sometimes they just do that shot fake, man. And it's really slow, and it's really easy to defend. So I got to figure out how to not do that specific shot fake that I kept doing with Ronaldo, because it's not as good as the other shot fake that I was doing. Um, Holy receives the ball there. Not a good pass. But again, we're up three goals at this point. And then Ramos with the great defending. Uh, Coutinho here. Uh, I scoop it up. 
we do a ball roll to get uh, a flick up backwards to get the space because I see that there's space open. We pass it into Eusebio, and Eusebio lasers at home, guys. And that is going to be 6-2. to 6-2, guys. So we end up winning this game 6-2. And I just wanted to bring you guys this comeback because I thought it was a really cool um, video uh, just to bring you guys, to show you guys that, you know, don't lose your composure. And uh, it was just a good game, man. It was a really fun game to play. This game was really fun um, to play because it was open and it was... It was back-to-back -back attack, which were eight goals in, in 75 minutes. So that's going to be it for the video today, guys. That is the upload. This one, at least this is the gameplay that we have for you guys today. Shout out to you guys for supporting the channel and watching the videos. I'll see you guys in a video soon. Peace.